So my name's Jacob, I'm originally from Nottingham. Um, I started looking into um, software development just for fun really, building a few projects like to-do lists, um, mainly working around front end. Um, that was just for fun originally. Um, and then it was actually a friend of mine who got in touch with me in regards to Purple Beard. He knew that I'd been working in hospitality for about three years nearly four years um, and he turned around to me and said why don't you actually turn your um, why don't you actually turn your passion into a career um, purple beard very thankfully purple beard approached me and said that i was on on the course and here i am Well, originally I started off with um, doing like a, it was a five day coding challenge. Um, and originally that was just, again, I did that for fun. Um, I realized that not only was it something I enjoyed, it was something that I was actually pretty good at. Um, I realized also that Purple Beard was specifically looking for candidates based in East Midlands. And that's where I was living at the time, I was living in Nottingham. And so everything sort of just fell into place um, quite easily. Um, Purple Beard offered me tons of support. Um, there was occasions where some of my tutors were literally on call. You know, I could send someone an email and they'd, they'd reply to me in, you know, half an hour. Um, and also, more importantly, the tutors were f fun but fair, but they, they, they taught you how to learn. Does that make sense? Instead of, in, instead of just teaching me what I needed to know, they taught me how to do it myself. I think you, you, there's an element of creativity in it, without a shadow of a doubt. You have to be a creative individual, but you also need to find that balance of creativity and being a logical individual. And sometimes it's hard to find that balance, and sometimes it doesn't have to be one or the other. You can integrate the two of them. Well, they direct me to really interesting resources that I didn't even know were available to me. Once upon a time, uh, my only real resource was things like um, Stack Overflow, things like YouTube tutorials. I've got so many books, I sort of fell into that t tutorial loophole where I didn't really know where to stop. I didn't know when to finish. Um, you know, I'd, I'd learn 50% of one technology and move on to the next technology. And I think Purple Beard sort of gave me that direction. They actually, they actually developed like a, a structure for me to, to educate myself. So I've just landed um, a level four software development apprenticeship with a company called Rico Medical. Um, they'll actually be developing um, an intracranial pressure monitoring device. It's the first of its kind in the country. It's completely wireless. We connect into a device via Bluetooth. And um, yeah, Purple Beards got in touch with me. They said that they thought I was a, the right candidate for the spot. And I started yesterday. <laughs> Just go for it. And also, like, network, meet people, talk to people. You're not on your own. Like, it's really important to reach out and actually ask for help. It's so, people are so open-minded and willing to help you as well, because once upon a time, everyone was in the position that you were once in. And um, it's almost like sometimes when you're working in tech for like a few years, as I imagine, uh, you also, you almost feel obliged to help someone who's just started off. You don't see them as competition, you see them as you know, the future, I guess.